Materials, headband, face mask, scissors, a face mold, if you have one, cut that top off to fit your face mold. Now glue the headband on top of that face mask with a glue gun. Next cut extra slabs from that same face mask and measure where your ear is. Foil paper is like mold, so mold it into three horns. To make it fatter, add more foil to that same mold. Measure on top of the head to see if it looks doofy or not. I added more to it to make it look fatter because it kind of looked doofy when it was tiny and thin. Masking tape. Tape around the foil so it will be less dimply and more smooth. Bend it because foil can move. Now to shape it on top of that head mold. With the tape you could tape it on and see how the horns lay on top of your head. Boop, 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 boop. That headband you had before with the face mask on top of it, tape it on top of that. Do it again with the shaping of the horns, but we're making fins for our ears. So we're going to make tiny, tiny, tiny versions of the same horns that we made on top of our head, but this is going to be for the fins on our ears. Get to it. Measure the distance of your ear that you drew on your face mask earlier. Use tape and tape them all together. Make sure you copy on the other side. I used the tape to make some thin parts of the fins. So that's what it looks like. Glue those fins to the ears or the ears you drew. At the bottom of the headband I glued some elastic so I could tie around my head so it could stay on my head and stay stable. Okay this is the hardest part. Mixing flour and latex. This is not the texture you want. You want it more liquidy and you want it more like, well, rotten milk. It had to be lumpy and liquidy, not lumpy. So I made another batch. With a more better batch, smooth it on like clay. Make sure you have some latex on the side so you could dip your hand in it and smooth it out even more. This was not smooth enough for me, so with my homemade ball cap, I cut that up and I laid latex on top of latex so it could be a little bit more smoother. The best thing about that is the fins look like fins in the middle of those spikes. So I left it. I kind of cut it down a little bit more. You can leave it high like that. It kind of looks good. I didn't. I held it down with some more latex and hot glue the sides because the latex wouldn't dry enough for me or dry fast enough for me. I glued some foam in the back because I hate the way how it looks. <laughs> but the back no matter because I have a really big wig. Hot glue some accessories in the back like the beads and you're done. Thank god. Let's get to the actual tutorial. So starting with a clean face, I have some aloe vera on. And we're going to lay our edges, including our eyebrows. You're trying to have the foundation of the mermaid. She's not putting on makeup to look blue. She is already blue. So we're going to highlight with the light blue I have here. With a wet wipe, we're going to wipe all the bits and pieces from that glue, school glue. We're doing three layers of eye glue or school glue and three layers of body paint. And here we are 
put in transparent powder over our eyebrows and our edges. You don't have to do your edges if you have a forehead. Here are the low lights, or the shadow, as you call it. I like to call it low lights because it, you know, kind of sounds like highlight. You have to do the parts you haven't done with the blue. Shaping my face with the purple. All this is water-based paint, so it's easy to come off, it's easy to put on, but it's hard to stay on. For the headpiece, this is the first one I made out of latex, to see how it will look with the paint, you put it on your head, and then you see how it is, and then you dance, and you play, and you feel your oats, and it took me a long time. Fill your oats, glue it down with the same latex you use on the same headpiece. By the way, put on some music because this will take you three hours. And boy, this needs layers. I kind of want my skin to show through the purple because the purple kind of complements my skin anyway, so I don't mind. Now for the cream. Cream. <clears throat> I try to do an accent. You mix any cream together to make that light blue you have in your face. You can mix some lipsticks or whatever cream you have, and you shape your fish eye or the very pale part of the fish, which is the eye. I'm just inventing that for whatever mermaid I am. So just like the rest of our body, we highlight the highs, which is the more raised parts, and low light the lows, which is my word for shadowing, but you keep dancing. Also, this part I'm doing here, I'm keeping it transparent. I like the transparency on it, kind of fish, fishy of the fins. Um, go around your face so you can blend out that shadow you was doing in your face beforehand and you blend it into that blue, yes. I also use a brush to get into the nooks and cranberries because their sponge can't do it. Ooh, mixing again. We're mixing some more stuff here. And we're going to put it in the splotches because water paints is not going to cover this whole thing because the water picks up the paint that's on the paint. And here I am shaping a Vegeta kind of hairline, but it kind of looks cute on, on a mermaid. Shark skin mermaid, by the way. No scales in this one. And here I am with a little brush so I could get like, inside the fins if I need to. Oh, so magenta and blue makes this nice blue that I have here and I blend it in with the blue cream I have up there as well a little bit not too much but enough to everything's about blending kids everything's about blending and here I am setting it with any light blue color I have and the thing is it makes this amazing color between the purple look at that yes Oh yes, I love that. So, ooh, even on my forehead. Here I'm trying out blush. Uh, the blush kind of came out to my skin color, so I said, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it alone. Um, so you don't need blush. This is the dark green paint. Um, cream. Sorry, dark cream, cream, dark, dark, dark cream, <laughs> dark blue cream. And I'm creating a crease here. I'm creating a fake crease, you know, like what drag queens do. Cover my eyebrows and create a fake crease. And milk! We're going to drink some water. Water freckles, you guys. Water freckles. Water freckles. Oh my god. Hype for no reason. We're going to draw some squiggly lines on top of squiggly lines, making some holes. And then we're going to shade inside with the same white so we could draw the reflections in different colors. So here we go. We're about to go there. We're almost there. We're almost there. I can feel it. Here. Here we are. We're blending inside the bubbles with some, some of the NYX pencil and milk. And then we're going to go over it with some white shadow. And then we're going to go over that with some light blue shadow the same shadow you blend your whole face with and then in the corners of that we're gonna blend in a tiny bit of dark blue and then you have your water texture 
Who knew more freckles but in UV paint, this time in orange, for a nice contrast of that Michael Bay blue and orange kind of texture. And more orange, and I wanted splotches because it remind me of, you know, a aquatic creature? I don't know, fishes have these kind of splotches sometimes. And it contrasts and makes it look beautiful, and look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. Can I wear this forever? So this part don't really matter that much because I'm gonna cover it with like high 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 liner so I'm just gonna put this for putting it because I'm gonna leave a space for another kind of effect of splotches on a fish that they have you know that orange looks beautiful with magenta and blue like this combination is oh my god um so we're just gonna draw the outline because this is not gonna fill in the whole eye who are you playing it's not filling in no one's eye. It will be done. The done done. Rel done. I also put some lines under my eye, but at the end it made my eyes bigger and more kind of doe, cute like. And now I'm filling in a crease with a darker purple, or it's gonna be a darker blue purple, because I'm gonna put some blue, dark blue shadow over that purple line. Just to find it a little bit, you know, not too much. The cream is here, the cream is here. You're gonna fill in it, but leave in two circle like circles, I guess, <laughs> at the corner of your eyes and blend it in a little bit. And then you set it with some black eyeshadow. Oh, here's another trend other than the freckled freckles. This is the lollipop lips. You just do it all messy because it's like you eat a lollipop with your lipstick on. And I put in some highlights with some NYX white eyeliner. Now with the wigs, um, it's two wigs on top of clips on my natural hair because I couldn't find my my hair net at all. But my natural hair was kind of showing under it. It kind of looked part of it, my father said, so I left it. And I stacked them. I put the magenta on the bottom and the very mermaid purple on top and dancing with the bra on and I didn't notice okay this is the dress I based this whole look on because I was gonna wear the dress to the beach and I didn't put on drag lashes because I want it to be a natural mermaid so this is a natural look for a mermaid I also put in some lines because you know she's in the dark she needs to see and that's it kids we are done <coughs> Da -dun -dun. This is the first time I did like a headpiece and stuff and let me tell you the reasons why I did a mermaid because everyone does a mermaid everyone either does a mermaid a witch a werewolf or a nymph and usually mermaids at the top of it and so I wanted to compete with mermaids because it's like any other competition the same competition you kind of compete the same theme oh shimmy and a shimmy shimmy and a shimmy shimmy